A local high school is seeing an increase in students using vape pens on campus. The district tells us over 30 vaping related cases have been reported this school year alone, and some of them ending up in the hospital. Our Joanna Guzman has more on how the district is taking a proactive approach. Uh, from 2016, we saw one vape pen to 2019, uh, 116. So that was an alarming increase for me. A 100% increase in vape pens used among high school students is what Edinburgh CISD's Chief of Police, Ricardo Perez, says led to an awareness campaign aiming to teach students about severe consequences physically, mentally, and legally when using these type of products. Smoking THC is considered illegal. It's considered a, a marijuana product, so there's consequences. If you're 17 years old, you can be charged with a felony. If you're a juvenile, you can be charged with a, a class A misdemeanor. During a presentation this morning, students heard from a health director who says vaping can cause damage to the lungs as early as the first time it's used, but in some cases, the damage won't be seen until a month later. It's being seen in a very short amount of time when, once they start vaping. So, um, shortness of breath, chest pain, it's causing all of these different uh, things because the lungs are not doing what they're supposed to do, which is to take in air and filter and bring in oxygen into the rest of the body. Davila adds vaping affects students academically by slowing down their ability to think and increases depression and anxiety. A senior student at Vela High School where cases of vaping have dramatically increased says she is thankful school officials have taken this initiative because many kids in her school don't know what they're inhaling. It's so sad to say that this is a normal. This is something that we see in high school and it's so sad that not even kids know what they're doing or what they're taking but it's mostly peer pressure and you see one person and then of course everybody else follows and I think there needs to be that sometime or some well, person that stops it and that changes it. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed 42 deaths from vaping related illnesses, the most recent one this week in Louisiana. In Edinburgh, I'm Joanna Guzman, Local 23 News. According to the CDC, the, the number of vaping related illnesses has risen to over 2,000 cases all across the country.